Chosen one. Oh, you're like a bad guy, right? You literally did the opposite of what a superhero is supposed to do. You're him. You're the hero. You're welcome for not getting wrong. Like that back. Give him back in. How old are you? Basically 15. A troubled teen <laughs> with a good heart is magically transformed into a superhero in that movie, Shazam! The dream team behind the DC flick is back in Toronto where the film was shot for the film's premiere. Please welcome Zachary Levi, Mark Strong, and director David F. Samberg. Shazam! You're Shazam. There they are. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. Congratulations <laughs> on this film, and welcome back to this fair city, which served as the backdrop for this film. The entire time, I'm like, oh, try and name that spot. Why did you choose Toronto, David? Uh, we were looking at different options, and I heard Toronto was great. Yeah, <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Uh, yes. Um, no, but the, uh, the movie actually takes place in Philadelphia, um, and so we needed somewhere that had a lot of locations that could potentially be Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, some of the places are clearly Toronto. So we kind of like the movie takes place in, we call it sort of Philly, Toronto. Toronto, look up Toronto. Yeah. There was like a Philadelphia. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah. 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 That's what we needed a place that felt just as cold as Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we needed. Does it yeah. feel good to be back then, Zachary? Oh, it's great. I, I love being back here. I mean, I've been blessed enough to work in Toronto now, I don't know, about three times on three different projects over the years and uh, have built a great friend base here okay. and this, you know, my gym, SWAT, and all those guys. I mean, it's, I have a little community, so it's really cool when we get to come back through and I get to catch up with folks, but also the memories that come back from shooting all over the city uh, and just, you know, it, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a special place, particularly for this film. I got the chance to see you guys last year on set when, when you were filming this, but some of the locations outside of that kind of set and that lot, you know, some of those where the bus was dangling. Oh, yeah. You know, that kind of caused a storm here in the city when that was happening. People were like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Who's dying? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, people were so worried about that. Well, you know, honestly, I think, I don't, I don't know. I feel like we didn't really have big, like, road closure for that necessarily. It's just that that was when no. people were first starting to put together that, we were the movie and there was like paparazzi and right. people taking photos from up yeah. in that high rise which you know if i was living in that high rise i'd probably do the same thing <laughs> exactly. like oh look there's a superhero movie going on down there <laughs> the i bet tmz could pay good money for this <laughs> and mark you're incredible like speaking of cold and icy man you were terrifying in this as the villain how much fun is that to see actually you're more of a quiet villain until the end when you guys have fight scenes how much fun was that to have that controlled chaos within you? Oh, it's always fun. Yeah. It's always fun being the bad guy. I have to say, you get the best lines and the best clothes, I think. You know? <laughs> yeah. I get in this, I get to the fly around, I get to fire electricity out of my hands, you know. I was just thinking before when you said about missing Toronto, what I really miss is the ice storms. Yeah. Didn't get, we don't get a lot of those in London. And I remember when we were here, my God, I could, we, nobody could move. Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Warmer temps for you this time around, at least. I yeah? remember there was, a little, uh, there was a little thing on my phone. It was like a temperature gauge with a snowflake behind it. I've yeah. never seen that symbol in my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what the hell is yeah, that? Your, your, phone, is too nice cold. Cold. your yeah. phone has just yeah. checked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. Yeah. Uh, Zach, you know, playing, bringing out that inner 14-year-old for you mm. in being Shazam, easy, difficult, just natural? Your energy was amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, my gosh. And, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it's kind of natural. I mean, I think that's partly probably why I got the job, because they yes. were looking for a guy who had well. a lazy director. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm just going to hire a big child, and I'll just sit back and let him run. Let him, let let him, him run. Just give the dog a big yard to run around <laughs> and look at him go, guys. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. I've always been very, very energetic and very, I don't know, a bit of a lust for life. Like, I really, I have a lot of hope and optimism I'm gonna yeah. always have. And I've grown up loving all of this whole, whole world of superheroes and reading comic books and you know playing video games and so it was very much uh stuff that was already kind of in my dna but you know i'm a 38 year old man i have responsibilities when you're 14 you have no responsibilities <laughs> and you're just in a ball of emotion so that was the kind of shift i had to throw myself into which was a lot of fun because it's like you know like Tom Hanks' big meets Superman. I yeah. mean, it was just a, a, a dream. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. It's a lot of heart. It's a lot of laughs. It's awesome CGI effects. It's, it's the action scenes. Were you at all worried or hesitant at any of those physical scenes or fights? Or did you just step back and let the stunt people do their thing? Stunt people were amazing, I have to say. And we, we had to be pretty fit. You know, there, was, uh, there were times they have a particular contraption called a tuning fork, which is a thing that binds you at the waist. And in that, you have to fly and roll and fight and punch and do all of that. 
and it looks amazing on screen, but uh, but doing that is pretty tough. But they, they took care of us, and I think it looks pretty amazing. Yeah, you guys were troopers <laughs> being yeah, up in yeah. those things for oh, as long as you were and like well they're not the most comfortable fights. contractions in the world <laughs> yeah. particularly for yeah. dudes it's yeah. not you know they're just not ergonomically i don't know that you can ergonomically anyway we should probably move on yeah. okay we'll yeah. move on you, you know one of the questions that's asked uh, early in the movie is would you rather have yes the, the powers to be in, invisible or to fly oh yeah so we want to change it up a bit okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. so we're going to ask would you rather have a metabolism of fire eat as many carbs as you want and never gain an ounce oh, or be a, super <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> be a superhero sleeper 10 minutes power nap and you feel rested all day every day Ooh, that's awesome carbs good carbs? yes yeah, yeah, cars. Yeah, sleeper, cars. sleeper, I think. Sleeper. sleeper. The idea of being totally on. Yeah, Imagine. getting older now, you see. You know, a little ten, power, ten, ten minute power nap and then being amazing would so do much me. Yeah, but the getting older yeah. with the carbs yeah. thing is also <laughs> kind of. Just don't eat the carbs. Okay, here's Just another one. Right. The discipline in this man. We go social media style. Would you rather have the troll blocker, have an app that blocks any social media trolls forever, or social media superstar? You never have to take a selfie again, but you still have Kylie Jenner type numbers. That's high numbers. Uh, well, Kylie well, Jenner's just selfies been... anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy one yeah. for you. She's the youngest billionaire, isn't she? Yeah. At 21. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, that would be yeah, that'd be uh, kind, of, kind of nice. Amazing. You get up your own perfume line. It could be great. Okay, yeah, that might yeah. be next. Yeah. The Shazam <laughs> scent. Okay, uh, Fountain of Youth. Never age a day from here on out and live an average life or Yoda life. Age as normal and live to be the oldest person to have ever lived. So you're going to be the oldest person that ever, ever lived, lived or, or the youngest looking the youngest oldest person. 100 percent. Uh, uh, Dilemmas. I mean, because you, you don't want to go with the vanity, right? You want to go yeah. with the wisdom. So I'm going to go with the wisdom, guys. I'm okay. going to say I want to be. The only problem with the wisdom, else. though, is you get that old. Where are all your friends? Thank you know you. what I mean? Who's still around? That, you yeah, know, what but are you, you get do? to live in a cool little hut in a swamp, <laughs> and you have a little <laughs> cane, yeah. and like a lamb. speaking backwards yeah. with you know, exactly. like a lamb. Exactly, I am. Exactly, I am. That's better. Okay. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. <laughs> so people get to meet and greet and see you all today and tomorrow. There's an exclusive event happening. How much it's do you right love there. that meeting the fans? Oh, it's the best. The, yeah. the, the fans are the patrons of the arts. The, the audience is literally the lifeblood of anything that we, what you guys do, what yeah. we do, any movie that we do, every television show. If there's not people on the other side of these cameras the who decide to give their time and their energy and attention yes. to what we're doing, then we are not doing our job. Yes. So I would yeah. say that's yes. the best yeah. thing we can be doing. It's well, all about the it, fans. Yeah, it's the most rewarding part. Like if you, yeah. you work two years in a movie and then like get to feel yeah, you know yeah and the activations and stuff that they're popping up are cool like being able to kind of interact with some of the shazam uh you know elements i think will be a lot of fun for fans you all did such a great job see shazam it soars into theaters april 5th and the fan activation at young adunda square is open to the public if you're able to attend i think it's tomorrow's exclusive for, event for, yeah, the public. for the public yeah you can floss like it's nobody's business yeah, i'm not gonna floss no no oh! no not gonna floss. Oh! Yeah, the floss needs to die it I'm needs trying. to die all that the only I... flossing we need to be doing in the future is the time between our <laughs> Okay, fine. That's it. God, yeah. For a minute there, I thought you meant dental. Oh, I, 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 I was like, he's going to do his teeth. He's going to what? Listen. Yeah. I tried. I tried. Go, 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 go. Okay, he's got to go. Shazam, just like that. Over to you, Tam. From Shazam to Tam.